Good day, my name is both viewers. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. As you already know again, my name is Israel Gwai. In our today's discussion, we are going to talk about mass atomic number, mass number, and ISO2, and calculations. Please, as I always told you, help like and share this video, because you're sharing it, and many more viewers coming to it, so keep this channel going. Thank you very much. Now, atomic number. Atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of the atom of an element. Number of protons. Why the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons also located in the nucleus of the atom of an element. Atomic number is symbolized with Z or Z. Why mass number A? Now, let's assume we have a circle like this. It's not actually a circle, it's spherical in shape. We have the nucleus. This nucleus contains protons and neutrons. While the shell contains electrons. Remember this one is this uh, 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 spherical structure is called shell. We are not discussing this for this class. We watch out for that when we are discussing atomic structure. Now Nucleus contain protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons they make up the mass number. Why uh, proton alone make up the atomic number? But remember, in a neutral atom, number of protons is also equal to the number of electrons for a neutral atom. So let's do the work of the day. Like we said, atomic number can be written with this symbol. Why the mass number is written with the other symbol? Now, if you have, if you have uh, an element like ox, you can introduce this by calling this A and calling this Z, showing that you have indicated the mass number and atomic number. Let's say, for example, in natural sense, you have sodium. Sodium has atomic number of 11 and mass number of 23. This is how you, you write it. Then phosphorus has mass number of 31, atomic number of 15. While aluminum, for example, has mass number of 23. 7 atomic number of 13. So these are the various ways you can use the uh, atomic number and mass number to write um, symbols of some elements and indicate it. Now, we have already described, uh, um, um, we have already defined atomic number as number of protons in the nucleus of the atom of an element, while the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus of the atom of an element. Now, the next area we are going to have a look at is isotope. Isotopes, by definition, isotopes are atoms of the same element with the same atomic number, that the same number of protons, but different mass number. The reason why there is a bit isotope, the process is called, like the phenomenon is called isotopy. And the reason why there is a bit that phenomenon because of a different number of neutrons. Don't ever forget that. Neutrons causes it to occur. Let's see, uh, let's take a typical example chlorine. Chlorine has atomic number of 17. There's another chlorine 17 again. But the atomic mass, the mass number of this is 30, 35, why this is 37. You see it. So this mass number, atomic number. Then if you deduct this, this one gives you 18, and this one gives you 20. This is the number of neutrons. So this very number of neutrons is what makes it to exhibit isotopy. If the neutrons were the same, then it will not undergo isotopy. So this is one typical example. You also have one other examples like um, hydrogen. Hydrogen have three isotopes. You have hydrogen one, this one, this one, this one. All of them have the same atomic number. But this one is one, this one is two, and this one is three. Remember this is the mass numbers. That is the atomic number. So the dot is from this, we have zero, you have one, you have two. So you see the different number of neutrons are there. We resulted in this phenomenon we call isotopy for hydrogen. Remember, this first hydrogen is known as normal hydrogen or proton, not proton, proton, because proton is hydrogen with a positive charge that lost the electron. Then this one is uh, deuterium. Why this tritium? Proton is normal hydrogen, probably the water. 
water will drink. While this one is also plenty of water, but in this case, heavy water, because it produces is from it's also known as heavy hydrogen. So it produces deuterium oxide. This one produces hydrogen oxide, deuterium oxide, and this one is tritium, which is radioactive. When we say radioactive, it means it has the ability to emit certain uh, radiations, alpha particle, beta particle, and gamma radiations. That is that. That is for another day. So these are some examples of isotopes. Now let's carry out some calculations in isotope, which is actually the major uh, purpose of this class. I write some questions on the board. Maybe I will always be cleaning it. Maybe I will write it this way. Question one: If two isotopes of chlorine with mass number 35 and 37 exist in the ratio of theory ratio 1 respectively. Calculate the relative atomic mass of chlorine. We do the solving here. These questions were actually extracted from some fine textbooks and past questions. So you look at it, you have uh, two isotopes of chlorine, you have the first chlorine. First of all, sum. Sum of the ratio. Sum of ratio. You have three plus one, which is four. Then for isotope 35, for the first one, you have, remember this one is the first. You arrange it the way they occur. This one is equivalent to this. You have three over four times four. Three over four times this one, times 35, sorry, over one. Then for chlorine 37, you have 1 over 4 times 37 over 1. Then you sum the two. You have the relative atomic mass. Let's see how it goes. 3 times 35 give you divide by 4. Give you 26.25. 26.25, that's what we have here. Then 37. Divide by 4, we have 9.25, 9.25, let's sum it and see what we have. Plus 26.25, give you 35.5, 35.5. So that is the relative, that is the uh, relative atomic mass of chlorine. So let's have a look at another one. If you are confused, there's a comment section. You can always comment on it and to be clarified. Ion has natural isotope of mass number 54. 56, 57, and this 56, 57, and 58 with relative abundance of 5.8 percent, 91 point. 21.6%, 2.2%, and 0.3%, respectively. Calculate the relative abundance, relative atomic mass of iron. So, this one is equally very simple. Calculate the relative atomic mass of iron. Uh, if you want to go about this, you say, 
um, for ion. Let's use the symbol Fe fifty four, Fe fifty six, Fe fifty seven, and Fe fifty eight. Okay, then you have you tally with the abundance with relative abundance of fifty five point. 8%. We we'll say the abundance is 5.8 over 100 times 54 over 1. Second one, 91.6 over 100 because the percentage times 56 over 1. The third one, 2.2 over 100 times 57 over 1. And the last one, the last one, 0 0.3 over 100 as a percentage times 58 over 1. We write the values. So let's uh, see how it goes. Five point eight, five point eight times 54 gives you divide by 100 give you 3.132 3.132 for the second one 91.6 91.6 times 56 give you divide by 100 give you 5.51.296 51.296 then the third one 2.2 .2 times 57 divided by 100 gives you 1.254. 1.254. And the last one 0 0.3 times 58 give you divided by 100 give you 0 0.174. 0 0.174. Then sum everything together. You have Zero, zero point one seven four plus one point two five four, one point two five four plus fifty one point two nine six, fifty one point two nine six plus three point one three two, three point one three two, give you fifty five point eight five six, fifty five point. Five six approximately fifty six. So that's the relative atomic mass of iron. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember, there's a third calculation we are going to do. Please kindly watch out for the next video. God bless you.